sorry. <clears throat> You're probably wondering who I am. I am a transformed cell. Yes, I know what you're probably thinking what a hard life I must have as a cancer cell. And yes, it is really difficult. I mean, we have to find food, survive the immune system defenses, and most importantly, replicate. Yes, it's quite difficult to come to the place where you can replicate uncontrollably. Because first off, the requirements to become a cancer cell is difficult in of itself. You have to acquire mutations or changes in DNA, which are obtained by exposure to carcinogens. But you can't just come in contact with them. No, it's so much harder than that. Imagine someone dropping their phone. Oh no, I dropped my phone. What if it's broken? Oh, that's a relief. It still works. Just a small scratch, hardly even noticeable. Oh no, I dropped my phone. Oh no, it won't even turn on. In this analogy, the dropping of the phone was the carcinogen, while the change in the phone's condition was the mutation. In the first scenario, the carcinogen had little effect on the phone's functionality, They're similar to what oncologists call passenger mutations. In other words, they don't really do much, while the broken phone was similar to driver mutations, or those that assist in carcinogenesis. But wait, that's not all. To become cancers, you have to have mutations in two types of genes. Proto-oncogenes, which increase cell replication upon mutation, and tumor suppressor genes, which limit cell replication. You see, cell replication is a very delicate process. There are a ridiculous number of safeguards in place to ensure that there are not too many cells or too few. It's kind of like riding a bike. You have two options to control how fast you go. To speed up by pedaling faster. Or to slow down by pressing the brakes. Proto-oncogenes are like your pedals, while tumor suppressor genes are like your brakes. For carcinogenesis, you have to mutate both the proto-oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes. In other words, you can't just break the brakes. You also have to develop like turbo paddles. Okay, so I've told you a little bit about my heritage, but in reality, we've only scratched the surface of my origin story. Before I go, there's so many important things that we have to do, like avoid the immune system defenses, but also gather materials like glucose and oxygen. We need these materials because we use a lot of energy to replicate so fast. One way to gather these resources is to engineer capillaries in a process called angiogenesis. Oh, shh, look, it's an oxygen molecule. What? It's trying to skip me? I'm sorry, but I've got to go. I hope you learned a little bit about my life and you'll learn more about me in the future, but I've got to go. What do you think you're doing? You better come back here. I'll use angiogenesis on you.